Welcome to my apartment. Wait. Welcome to my apartment. First, let me close the door. So to begin, first, it's very secure. We have this metal door that closes and locks. And then we have this door that closes here and it locks. And this also locks, so it's very secure. This apartment does have a little peephole, which is nice because you can actually see like who's at your door rather than just having to open it to see. Welcome to my apartment, everybody. Today I'm doing an apartment tour. I live in Santo Domingo Este, and I'm going to show you my whole apartment, just about. So stay tuned for the tour and stay till the end and I'll share how much we pay for rent and how much we pay for electricity, water is included in the rent, but I'll share more details like that at the end. So to begin, this is our little entryway area here. We haven't really filled it with any furniture, but I like having a nice empty space because I do things like, for example, like this. <laughs> you gotta have some space to do handstands in your house, so that's what this space is for. Originally, I wanted to put the table here to have like a nice view during meal times, but but then I decided we don't really have curtains here yet. We have the curtains, we don't have the curtain rod. So I wanted to put it back a little bit and have some more privacy. Because when it gets dark, you can just basically see into other people's apartments, as you know. Anyways, let's go to the living room. This is the living room. This is our couch. I really love this couch. You might have noticed I sit here and do videos sometimes. These pillows are actually like the back part of the couch. They're not just throw pillows. They have the black side and the black and blue side. I kind of like just the black side, but it's nice to have the blue side as well, just for a pop of color. And this part is also really nice because you can put up your feet and relax. And also, this part here is not attached at the bottom, so you can take it out and put this cushion on that one and have it as a separate seating area. And then you can put this long cushion on the couch so it all fits together perfectly. Now, this is like the dining room area, the kitchen, and all sort of flows. I guess it's called an open floor plan. So we have the table here. It came with this little set, which I did not know about, but it came with that. I like the, the gold detailing here on this table. It's really nice. It's also very shiny, looks great. And here's where I usually sit and do my work, my tutoring. I have my little show and tell stuffed animal here, Mr. Brown. And I like to keep my backpack here just to put away my headset and my things so I can just have the space open not think about it when I'm not working. So we have our charging station here. And yeah, that's the table. Also second is a great place to hang clothes. Like under here is bars and things. Those are really nice to hang up clothes to dry if I don't want to take them upstairs where the, the lines are basically. Now let's go to the kitchen. In the kitchen, we have a phone. This is for downstairs. People can ring the doorbell and then we get an answer, let them in downstairs. Then there's another doorbell as you saw that is for our individual apartments. We also have our botellones here, our drinkable water, a little electric stove, which is good for making beans since they take a long time. It's nice to use that so you don't have to waste gas. Then we have our gas stove here, our fridge, has a fridge and a freezer, blender. This is our kitchen, and this is like what we use for drying dishes. We don't have a drying rack, so we just use this space here to set out some towels, and it works fine. So this is our, our sink has these little things that help stuff from going down the sink and it's two-sided so that's great then we have our washing machine over here which we bought with our wedding money it was a great purchase <laughs> so we're going to use the laundromat and yeah this is our washing machine we can handle a lot of clothes as you can see it's fairly sizable here we also have another multi-gallon but this one's actually full of just regular tap water because as i explained in the last video we're going to have a drought and the water's been going out so yeah. Another thing I wanted to point out is that all the windows have screens. So that's really great. Ew. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, all the windows have screens which is great because as you can see, we kind of live near like a little patch of trees, like a forest area. So there can be more wildlife that comes in, but the screens help prevent that, thankfully. So let's head back out through the living room again. Another thing I wanted to mention, this is what I consider a minimalist apartment, okay? We have everything we need and since we might not be living here forever we don't want to buy a bunch of stuff and so we're just happy with the necessities of everything we have now so as you might notice maybe to some people it looks bare but to me it's calm and it's peaceful it's not filled with junk 
Now here, this is one of the first things we got. This was all empty and these guys came to put in the Wi-Fi and they were like, where do you want us to put it? And we just like, I don't know, on the wall here. So it's just held on by like some nails. They just put some nails on the wall and hung it like that. Now let's see if I can get it back on or if only my husband's help. Okay, I got it. Then another really important thing, is this little guy right here, my, probably my best friend, just kidding. But this is a power adapter. It took us two tries to get this one that actually works. And this helps the Wi-Fi keep running when the power goes out, which can happen randomly and unexpectedly. So it's really good to have this so that in the middle of my lessons, I don't get interrupted because that happened a lot our first two months. And we did get another power adapter. That one didn't work. I'll link this one below if you want to check that out. But it really does work. It lasts for like a couple hours. Thankfully, it's the power doesn't run out that long, during my lessons at least, though we needed it for longer than that. So, this is really helpful. Another thing I wanted to note about the entryway, some people, other apartments, I think the ones that are in the back of the building, where in the front of the building, there's four apartments on each floor, so the two in the back, I think, have this space sort of as like a, a balcony, it's all outside, and these are like sliding doors that are right where you are right now, right in this area here. Another thing I like, I like this little detailing here in the corners. Those are really nice. I also like, my favorite part is probably this gold sparkly wall. Like if you look closely, it sparkles and it's really great. I filmed some videos against this wall because I just love it. All right, so now let's go to the rest of the house. This is a hallway to the rest of the house. Nothing fancy, but we have three rooms. So three bedroom apartment with one bathroom. One room is here, that's my room. One room is here, that's my husband's room, and the other room is here, and that's our room. <laughs> so even though we're only two people, it is helpful to have the three different spaces. I'll show you my room first. So basically, this is kind of like a storage room. It's nothing fancy. It's one of the messier rooms because we just have stuff. My suitcase is in here. I keep extra like toiletries and towels in this suitcase, some extra clothes in here. We have the laundry. My wedding bouquet is here, so that's nice. It's kind of like just in this thing in the wall. So yeah, it fits nicely right there. <laughs> All my shoes are here and my earring collection, of course. Then we have some leftover wedding stuff and yeah, just things I like to hang, like my apron and purse and jackets. So that's this room, kind of bare. I don't really use it for much besides keeping the dirty clothes and extra things. So let's leave that room. Now, my husband's room, he has a music studio. So as you can see, he has his green screen, his piano, his computer, everything's all set up for him here. This is his space. <laughs> I don't really do much in here. Although maybe one day I'll film something in the green screen. Then, we have our bedroom. It's not really the biggest bedroom. I would say they're all pretty much the same size, but we decided to use this one because it has two windows, the other ones only have one. It has that window there. This window and the kitchen window are also really nice for seeing the sunrise. You can see a lovely sunrise over the trees there and I love it. This window, you can see the other apartment there, so that's why we have these curtains here. Don't focus too much on the curtain rod. <laughs> so yeah, we have the curtains here. Our bed, I put a little garland that we had in our wedding table there, so I like that detail. My little nice sand is just this chair and this box from like some flowers I got and this was a gift from a student a cafecito de cara so very grateful for that then we have our clothes some of our clothes as I mentioned I have some over there he has some over there <laughs> I have a lot but these are some of our clothes I like these because they're all organized in rainbow kind of order those are more clothes of mine up there and this room is nice also because I have these little shelves other rooms just have this top shelf but this one did have the three here as well. So I like to use these for socks and other books and things like that. And it has a lot of little hooks to hold purses and headbands and keys. So yeah, also don't mind this fan set up too much. It works, okay? Anyways, <laughs> let's turn off the lights. And the bathroom it has a sink, it has a toilet, it has a shower. Like what more do you really need? It has a towel hooks here and yeah, that's this nice vanity. This is not dirt, I promise. Like, it just came like that. <laughs> now we can open it up and have some more space to store things. So, yeah. That is the bathroom. Not the biggest bathroom, but the past couple of years I've had pretty small bathrooms. 
so I'm used to it by now. And yeah, that's the bathroom. <laughs> All right, well, that brings us to the end of our apartment tour. Now, I know you wanna know things like how much it costs. We're renting this from another person who owns the apartment. We had to pay three months upfront. We paid 45,000 upfront, which was about $800. Our monthly rent is 15,000 each month, and that's roughly $275 per month. We also have included in that price the maintenance and the water which I've seen the water bill, it's not actually that much because they stick it a little paper downstairs, so sometimes we look at it. Anyways, it's not that much, we have a couple hundred pesos. And the only other thing we pay for, well, we pay for gas, that depends, roughly 700 each month. And the last thing is electricity. Electricity, we had to go set up, that was a whole fiasco. <laughs> the first payment was a lot because I think they combined two months. That first one would have been 1,200, then, the next one was 800 pesos, but for the past two months, we've only paid 600 pesos for the electricity. That is what we paid for this apartment. This is my apartment in San Domingo Este, a minimalist apartment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this tour of my apartment, and I hope you could find this helpful if you're looking to move here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.